All right, doing uh, more Asclepius, because who doesn't love a milkweed? Um, this is Asclepius tuberosa, which is actually called butterfly weed. And uh, we'll get to why it's called butterfly weed and not milkweed uh, here in a bit. Uh, but, you know, th still throw that weed in because it's stupid. But uh, this is Asclepius, again, Asclepius tuberosa, um, named after the Greek god of medicine and healing, uh, Asclepius. Um, and then tuberosa because it has these, these, I guess, these big tubers underground. I've never really dug one out and looked. Uh, but they have these gorgeous orange flowers. Uh, these gorgeous orange flowers, uh, they, come, they can kind of fade into yellow. We've cultivated one called Hello Yellow uh, that pollinators pref do not prefer. They prefer this, and it's a clear sign of natural selection. Um, but anywho's, so uh, a couple things that are different between Asclepius tuberosa and um, the other Asclepius that we have is uh, sometimes these leaves, they're going to be, they're going to, as you can see, they're sometimes alternate. They're sometimes alternately arranged, it, not just opposite. On most of our Asclepius that we have, like our Asclepius syriaca, the common milkweed, uh, is going to be opposite. This one's alternate. It's going to be hairy. Look how hairy that stem is. Just lovely, hairy. Um, and why not, we'll just talk about this right now. So when you, why it's called butterfly weed and not milkweed is this is our only, in the, the Midwest at least, I don't know about some of the others, but um, this is our only Asclepius that doesn't have white latex white milky latex it's clear so uh so that's that's why that's why it's it's not called uh commonly a milkweed um but yeah so it's hairy it's gonna have these these linear leaves these more linear leaves these more linear leaves and as you can see here they have very small they're they're sessile to small to small stalked uh there um kind of tapers to the tip and then Rounded to heart shape to chordate heart shaped in the in the base, but let's look at these flowers. So these flowers um, But these these draping uh, These are actually the petals the petals are draping and the sepals the sepals are these small green these small green things here and uh, Put a picture up for you so you can you can see it uh, These are going to be about a centimeter long um, it, uh, and again, they're orange, so this is going to separate it from uh, something like Asclepius hertella, Asclepius hertella, which we'll do a video on here in a bit. Um, the hoods, these are the hoods that are, it's uh, on the corona, the corona. <laughs> yeah, you can't say corona anymore without thinking of the old, the old coronavirus, oh no. Um, the corona here, which is coming out of the middle of the flower, uh, it has these hoods. And these hoods are going to be orange, and then within the hoods, the hoods surpass these horns. So there's going to be some horns in there. So here you can see the the little sepals, the little se hairy sepals there. Although I've heard that this is not the monarch's preferred uh, Asclepius, you know, I've seen them on it. Just wait a second, and I'll show you. And also, uh, you know, these flowers oftentimes are visited by a lot of insects trying to get those that nectar which is in the hoods, the nectar which is in the hoods. So you th see things like all these cool hair streaks, you know, uh, these bees, wasps, all kinds of just cool pollinators and not pollinators, you know, just things that are just loving, loving this plant. It's a great plant. And in the darkness and the shadows of the leaves is a monarch caterpillar. All right, so the habitat of uh, Asclepius tuberosa is dry open areas like, you know, barrens, uh, savannas, um, uh, this sand scrape prairie that we're in right now, uh, you know, open dry woodlands. Um, so anywho's, yeah, great plant. Just a great plant. See the sprawling habit, that sprawling habit. I just found the follicle here, and I mean, this is uh, this is really kind of a fuzzy, um, uh, narrow, so it's a lot more narrow than uh, our larger milkweeds, uh, the Sclepius. Um, so yeah, so look at how hairy that little, that thing is. So it's nice and fuzzy. It's nice and fuzzy. But yeah, this is one of the, the landscapers and nature lovers' favorite plants. Um, Asclepius tuberosa, Asclepius tuberosa, uh, a great little plant.